alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much-anticipated main event. 15 rounds of welterweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Tommy Hearns is making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Crawford's assured that tonight is his night. That is as confident of a ring walk as you will ever see. have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Nice work. The left hand to the head. Commits to the straight right. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in. Slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer. You take his height away. The other is to step up and get sort of enticed a taller fighter to come in and be short. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Tommy Hearns. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Hurricane's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. He missed with that headshot. Turns over that hook upstairs. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Crawford's able to avoid that punch. Crawford's commitment to just pure offense is lacking right now. I mean, the guy has to let the hands go. Well, he was hurt earlier. You know, there was a little short punch on the inside around before, and nobody really noticed it. But guess what? He did. And I think that's why you're seeing him be a little bit unsure of himself and not throwing the punches that otherwise you'd say, hey, come on, how come you're not? That is why. You're not giving me the double jab. You only get me... Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice block by Hurricane. He got hit right there, but he is not in good. Oh! Oh, that got him. That wrecked him right there. He's down for the first time. Crawford's 
Bryce back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Good block by Hurricane. Teddy, you talked about Tommy Hearns' explosive ability. He opened a lot of eyes with his early career knockouts. He was the kind of guy that you almost scared for his opponent when he fought. Yeah, and you know, you almost worried that he needed a meal too because you looked at him, he was so thin, he was unassuming. You know, you knew the record, but when you saw him, maybe if you hadn't seen him before, you thought you were gonna see this Hercules guy, this guy with muscles popping all over, but you saw a tall, skinny guy. Tommy Hearns is tagged. Momentum has shifted. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five. Goes down for the first time tonight, but you can see he's ready to make up for it here. Yeah, just a little bit of water in the basement, not a full flood. But if he doesn't want those pipes to burst, he better figure out quick why he got dropped. We count down the final moments of this round. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give him a little confidence, remind him, hey, we trained for a tough fight, you're ready for this. Listen to me, the best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches, that keep them away. Where's your body work? Get the body. Real good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after a round in which he was knocked down. Yeah, that's about DNA. That's about genetics. I mean, he has good recovery skills. That's it. <laughs> Protecting his head well with his guard. Blocks that punch. <laughs> Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Right to the body. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Tommy Hearns is gonna feel the effect of that hook to the body. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Hearns' offense has nearly left the building, but that has a lot to do with the fact that he was hurt earlier, he got tagged. Now he's gotta find a way to be defensive, to make sure he survives, clears those cobwebs out a little bit, but he's gotta reconnect the offense before it's too late. Good flush, straight left hand. Uppercut, uppercut! 10 seconds to go in this third round. Missed the body shot. You have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That's put it. us in a position. Uh, if you're standing straight up, move that body. You need to move that body more. Okay. Relax. Relax. Relax.
It'll be interesting to see how this plays out as we start round number four. Hearns is up two rounds to one. But keep in mind, they've already traded knockdowns. Yeah, and his opponent knows that. He knows he can hurt him. And there's always hope. There's always incentive to get after him. Keep working the jam. Turns over that hook, and he does damage upstairs. That's what I want to see. Many great superstar athletes are associated with one single city, but Tommy Hearns, I mean, Tommy Hearns is Detroit Motor City through and through, isn't he? Yeah, he is Detroit Motor City, and he runs you over like something with a motor in it. And the way he does it is from that really thin frame, usually from the outside, and he just explodes on you. That's a good block by Tommy Hearns. Solid hook from Hearns. Unable to connect by Hurricane. Wow, nice flush left hand. Good, smart, tactical move here, backing up his opponent against the ropes. You're doing great. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Crawford's blocking ability is doing well for him there. <laughs> Unable to land clean by Tommy Hearns. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the fourth. need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. Crawford's bounces back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Parries that punch intended for the head. A shooting right hand by Tommy Hearns. Hurricanes left, working well that time. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Halfway through this round here. There you go. Not an accurate hook at all. Ten seconds of this fifth round. <laughs> Keep on. Keep on. Don't give him a chance to set his feet and get any punches off. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Come on. 
more. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move go. more. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Crawford's lacking that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic thing in the world is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. Keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up your offense. Hurricane swinging and missing like he's at bat. Seemingly in control. And now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily. And for a minute, he let up. And bang. Tried the hook, didn't get it. He's just grabbing on to his opponent. Now this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Halfway through round six. Crawford's damage. Can you believe this? Each man has hurt the other. Body shot. Body shot. Swing back. Keep doing what you're doing. Unable to make an impact there by Hurricane. And he just holds on there. Hearns is making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork. Yeah, he's doing what the old time. Boom, left hand comes home. Just what he needed, the bell to end that round. He was taking a lot of punishment there. Well, if he hit a bad driver, you know, he was a golfer. You say he has to have a short memory. Forget about it. There's another hole coming up. Well, you have to have a short memory right here as a fighter. The only thing is you better get some advice to go out there because you don't want to hit that fairway the same way. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? We got I want to see that head move more. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Tommy Hurts is dazed after that punch. Oh, that was a smart move right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely, Joe, but a stupid move, a bad move by the fighter who was having him hurt. He should have taken a little step back and not allowed him to grab. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Hurricane. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Hurricane's able to land a good, solid left hand. Hearns is putting on a show here. Defensively nice, putting nice. on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating... Wow! What a turn of events! What a turnaround! He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just gonna walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. Crawford's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Get in there! Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Oh, 
Coming towards the end of the seventh round. Ten seconds to go. And round seven comes to an end. When he misses with a punch, count. We got it. This is done. He's right. done. Oh, he I want you to double it. up that jab and finish off with you the hook. That. Okay? Throw that away. You're fighting his rhythm, okay? Don't fight his fight. Crawford's knockdown earlier tonight has not been enough to close the gap on this scorecard. As we start round eight, Teddy's got his opponent up. Yeah, it's like he assumed that it would happen again. You know, he just got complacent after hurting him. Hurricane's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Solid right by Hurricane. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. The halfway point of round number eight. How about that left hand? Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Back to the body! Not getting it done with that straight right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Burns has been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches off. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. I got away. Crawford's legs are just fine, thank you. That was the big question. In the last round, he was damaged, but here a fresh start. You know, Joe, we talk about having a good shit all the time, being able to shake off a good blow, but this is part of having a good chin, being able to recover after being shaken out, after the round before. A well-placed overhand right. Finish with the hook. Hand movement, hand movement. Turns his left, landing well. Hurricane's got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counterpuncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back. He's waiting for the guy to walk in. See, to be a good counterpuncher, an effective counterpuncher, guy has to come close to you. But his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving him anything to counter. Good step back, counterpunch there. Beautiful. Flush right hand to the head. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? 
turns is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Come on, kid, post it. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Tommy Hearns is enjoying a good lead, and he just showed you why in that last round. Teddy, he's the fresher fighter. He has his legs. As we're in the deeper stages of this fight, he still seems like he has his gas tank on full. Yeah, and he has his trainers and all his people in his camp to thank for it because they did the work before they got there. Jab and move. I need you to throw the punches. Body, bang, the body, hit the body. They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. What I want to see. Really frustrating his opponent now. Tommy Hearns is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. Huge right hand comes crashing home. Right to the belt line. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Uppercut! Uppercut! Come on, kid, He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. You're doing great. Crawford's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Comes right back with a shot of his own. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. Well-placed hook. And the round comes to an end. Circle, circle, circle. Don't stand in front of him. There you go. You have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That will put us in position. So is this the moment, Teddy? Is this the moment where he can press the action a bit? Because I know he's trailing by a significant margin here at the beginning of the 11th round on your scorecard, but he does look like he's capable of putting something forth. Yeah, he does, Joe. This is one of those moments. If you're in one of those shopping contests you used to see on TV years ago, and the whole idea is to spend everything you got. You know, you don't want to be the guy left with money in your pockets. Well, he's got money in his pockets. He better go start spending it. Goes up top with a right hand. Crawford's punch didn't come close. Hurricane's got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw, but he needs to land more. Yeah, he needs to calm down and think more. Ninety seconds to go in this eleventh round. There's that overhand right. Step, step. 
Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. hand by Tommy Hearns. Now hugging on the inside. Let it go! Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. And that's the end of round 11. Hearns is in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Dab more, dab more, dab more. Don't just walk in. Walk in with head movement, side to side. I keep telling you, side to side. Listen to me. to action now we're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight you get Keep the sense this one doing. may not go the distance side to side. That hook was well off the mark. Good right hand. Big shot, the left crashed home. Oh, and there you go. Unbelievable, just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Now getting back up off the canvas. Halfway through this round. Nice block by Tommy Hearns. Tommy Hearns' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. There you go! Not much action as he just ties up. See, he's got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head. Locks it away. Nothing's changing course here. His corner knows it, he knows it, and his opponent knows it. Round after round, it's much the same. He's in control. Yeah, he has a great rhythm. I mean, everything's going right. He's like a great singer up there on the stage, hitting all the right notes, just sailing along. of a new round but will it be much the same Crawford's been down numerous times tonight Teddy well if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball guess what it would be invoked right now and this would be over nice block by Tommy Hearn Keep 
good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Blocks the headshot. Hurricanes on the heels of that knockdown he suffered, and right now he's in the arms of his opponent. He's just looking to clinch. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's looking to clinch. He's looking to clutch. He's looking to hug the guy. You know, he's looking to make sure that he's still here when this bell rings. Nice work. Nice work. Body shot. Body shot. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside. Big shot. The right came clean. Burns is just trying to create some room right here. He wants to land another big shot like the one that hurt him moments ago. Yeah, he's looking to push him at a distance where he could get full extension on his punches. Now it's up to his opponent to go under one of those shots and pull it on him. Crawford's not in this fight in my eyes. I mean, I don't see any scorecard where you can have this being close. He's down. No, in my scorecard, he's down too. And you're going to only change it one way. He's got to get busier. Listen, your best defense is to throw more punches. You need to throw more punches. That will keep him away. The 14th round. Hurricane's coming out for this round here, knowing that he was tagged in that last round, Teddy. Now, different guys react in different ways when that happens. It can either bring you up or bring you down. Exactly. You hit it head on, you embrace it. You embrace it as a challenge. You say, okay, I'm going to show what I'm made of. Or you start to become small. You start to vanish a little bit. Oh, what a whiff by Hurricane. And he's holding. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Crawford's clearly affected by that. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Seconds remaining in this round. So another round comes to an end that Teddy, when you put pen to paper, you're putting down the very same way. He's up by a lot here. Yeah, he is up by a lot. And the good news for him is he's up by a lot in his kind of fight. You know, it's going to pay the kind of pace he wants and in the dimensions that he wants. Don't let him steal this one, okay? Keep moving, keep throwing the jab, keep moving. Yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him. Taking it to the limit, they are the 15th and final round. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. 
Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. Not able to land the uppercut. Just a minute and a half left in the fight. Get in there! Keep working the body. Last minute of this last round. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. You got this one. Last ten seconds of the fight. Nice work. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious here, Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, that you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. Hearns' work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.